What if we could manipulate gravity as if it was electricity? It sounds like science fiction, but a new hypothesis could make it possible. Hi everyone, astrophysicist here to talk about gravitons. Electricity comes from one of the four fundamental forces of the universe, electromagnetism. Electromagnetism is how particles exchange energy using packets of light called photons. Photons are what our eyes detect to give us vision. Now, gravity is another fundamental force. Gravity's photon is called the graviton. Unfortunately, gravity is actually a lot weaker of a force than electromagnetism is, so while it's easy to detect the photon, nobody's ever detected a graviton. Here's where the new science comes in. If you think about people studying gravity, what might come to mind is the LIGO-style observatories around the world, where people use lasers to tell if a gravitational wave is passing through the Earth. This new hypothesis is proposing a super LIGO, which will be far more sensitive than these. Here's how LIGO works. A laser beam is split in half and sent down two different tunnels. There's a mirror at the end of each tunnel, and so the laser beam will hit the mirror and bounce back, and the beams will recombine in the middle. Now, light is a wave, so light waves can constructively interfere and make a bigger wave, or they can destructively interfere and cancel out. When a gravitational wave passes through the tunnel, it changes the length of each one, and it can cause the light in the middle to either destructively interfere or constructively interfere, creating a pattern like this. Now, the brilliant idea here is actually just, what if LIGO was a lot bigger? Like, a million times bigger. But you don't actually need to build a bigger LIGO, you just need to bounce the light back and forth more times. If you could bounce the light back and forth millions of more times, you would get a detection that was millions of times more sensitive. Something sensitive enough to detect the graviton. If you could just find mirrors and lasers stable enough for this experiment, it could fit on a desk and give us brand new physics. Discovering the graviton would open the door to manipulating gravity the same way that we manipulate electricity. We could invent anti-gravity. We could make a really serious start toward the Star Trek warp drive. We could do things we haven't even thought of yet. This really would usher in a new era of physics. That's all for today. Keep an eye out for my upcoming book, Cloudy with a Chance of Starships, out next summer from Princeton University Press.